Good morning. I'm going to talk about God's creation. Such a beautiful world we all live. This is our family, our brothers and sisters. Jesus calls by a beautiful name the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is another word for creation. Actually, science defines so beautifully what creation is all about. They give a better explanation about the kingdom of life. It is divided into five parts. The kingdom of Monera, the kingdom of Protista, the kingdom of Fungi, the kingdom of plants, the kingdom of animals. So this is how it is divided. The whole creation is divided into five kingdoms. They are known as kingdom of life. The kingdom of Monera is the bacteria world. You can't see them. The bacteria world comprises also the environment in which the bacteria lives. So both of them together makes up one kingdom, the bacteria and the environment. The second one, the protista, is a special type of bacteria. Mostly we find them in the oceans, the plankton. It is the basic of the food web in the oceans. And they are, of course, they are special type of bacteria. They capture energy from the sun and they make food. And the protista and the environment you ought to include. Both of them make the kingdom of protista. The third is the kingdom of fungi. You know very well. Lots of fungi in the natural world. When the trees die, the fungi, they are the decomposers. Without fungi, the dead matter will remain for millions of years, causing destruction. So fungi is able to break down what has been destroyed and brings back all of them to life. So they do a marvelous job. So the kingdom of fungi includes fungi and the environment. And the fourth is the, the kingdom of plants. Biologists, they have already categorized almost one million species of plants. One million, that means 10 lakhs of plants in the natural world. And you know very well, and they are the primary producers. They produce food. Without them, there's no food. The terrestrial food web starts in these beautiful plants and they capture energy and they make sugar through the green leaf called chlorophyll and uh, they are known as the primary producers without them life is not possible and also they produce lots of oxygen as their by product and there is 21 percent of oxygen the atmosphere. Most of them is produced by this wonderful species called plants. So the kingdom of plants includes plants as well as their environment. And the last one is the kingdom of animals. The biologists again they have categorized one million species of animals which means 10 lakhs species of animals in the natural world. It's amazing, it's amazing. So the, the kingdom of animals includes not only animals and also their environment in which they live. So everything is included, the biotic and the abiotic, the living and the non-living together make the environment or an ecosystem. So Jesus calls by a beautiful word called the kingdom of God.
in which God lives, God is present. And the kingdom of God is so important to the natural world. In the kingdom of God, Jesus seems to say, all living things and no, also non-living things, they all have rights. What are the rights? Right is to exist and to flourish. Nothing can be destroyed. In fact, Jesus talks about a parable, the parable of the good crop and the weeds. And the workers come and report to the master, we sowed the good seed, but weeds also are growing. Can we go and pull out the weeds? And Jesus tells, no, 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 no. The weeds also have the right to live and flourish. Don't destroy them. So Jesus loves everything, whether it's a weed, whether it's a mosquito, whether it's a snake, whether it's a stone, whether it's a water, he loves everything. They are all creations of the beautiful God. We are living in a world of goodness. Everything is good. God found, in fact, everything, whatever he created, was good.